So our problem is this right here. And we need to prove that A, B, and C is an isosceles right triangle. So for that, we have to prove two things, which is that it's an isosceles and it's a right triangle. So that means we have to use two formulas. So the first formula we're going to use is distance formula, which is D equals X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y1 squared. So you're going to plug it into angles A, B, B, C, and A, C. So when you plug it in, you do the math and everything right, you get 50. So this is our first answer, we get 50. And you plug it into the next one to B, C. 1 minus 5 equals 4, which is the square root of 16. Add it to 9 because 3 minus 6 equals 9. Square root equals 9. So you get 25 and a perfect the perfect square, so you get 5, and that's your answer. Do the same thing for AC. 4 minus 10 equals 3, which equals 9. Since you remember the negative, equals 4 squared equals 16, and it equals 25 square root which is the square root, which is the perfect square, which is equals 5. So now that we have this, we're going to look at this and plug it into the slope formula. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to again prove that it's a right triangle. So our formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So we're going to do again, we're going to do it for CB, AC, and this. Okay, no, just, yeah, C A C B and AC. So we plug it in, we get negative 3 over 4 and negative 4 over 3. So what this says, and what this means is that when the slopes are opposite, opposite reciprocals, they are perpendicular to each other. And this proves that angle ABC is a right triangle as well as a isosceles because an isosceles has two parts that are equal two sides which is as we got five and we got five